Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my story of scoliosis and pectus carinatum. I'm basically going to be telling you guys all the steps and everything that happened with my brace, with scoliosis and with pectus carinatum since three years. So without further ado, let's get on with the video. So about three years ago, I started noticing something a little bit off with my chest. I started noticing that my rib was like sticking out. So I decided to go to the doctors and get that checked out. So my doctor told me that I had something called pectus carinatum, which is basically what I told you it's a malformation of the chest which basically means that your chest kind of sticks out on one side and it's not really supposed to do that my doctor told me that I had to wear a brace for six months for 24 hours and then I had to wear it for another six months but only for the night so I got my casting which is basically like they cast me for my brace so this is what my first brace looked like um, it was just like that there's this like tissue thing inside the brace that basically pushes the rib in place and this is the back of the brace there's nothing really to it this is just the back of the brace for it to like be in place so the day i got my brace that first week was really painful when i got that brace i was really like scared actually because i started realizing that this is not going to be easy um i thought it was going to be really hard that those first two weeks of wearing my brace it was pretty painful especially because i've never worn a brace before so it was like really scary and that first month was also not fun because i was feeling kind of sad and just like kind of lonely also because nobody at my school or i didn't know anybody that had the same condition as me so i was kind of feeling lonely but after that first month honestly uh things were kind of like getting better because i started realizing that like it really wasn't that bad i was starting to get completely used to it and i started being more positive and thinking that hey it's actually really not that bad things could be worse and i was kind of being more positive about this whole experience so that first month was not fun but after that month i started getting more positive so basically after three to four months i started noticing something else i started realizing that there was like these other ribs that were sticking out but i went to the doctor and the doctor basically told me that uh this could actually happen when you had your pectus when you push that rib uh, back like others can start sticking out they have to make me a new brace to basically fix those two other little rib things to like push them back so i got this brace it looks like a tooth um and when i got it i was like more scared it really didn't take a lot of time for me to get used to the first week was a little bit hard but after that i think i completely got used to it my skin got used to it so six months pass and i go to my appointment which is the appointment that i that i get to know if i have to wear my brace longer i was so so excited for this appointment again because it was like okay this is the final appointment i'll finally be able to take my brace off for good we're done Finally, I go to the appointment and I definitely don't get the news I expected to get. Um, my doctor basically tells me that um, my scoliosis was getting worse and I already knew that I had scoliosis. I didn't think that my curve was that bad because my doctors told me that the curve that I had wasn't like bad enough to wear a brace. I didn't really expect to actually wear a brace for my scoliosis. And you can imagine that I was really, really disappointed because I thought, wow, I'm gonna have to wear another brace another race <laughs> it was not great and um i thought i had to wear the race for a year but they told me that i had to wear the race for two years and that was also not great and i was really sad about that after that appointment and before i got the actual brace i was sad i was disappointed i was mad i was so mad i don't know why but so i got the brace and at that point i decided that i was going to be positive about this i wasn't going to complain because complaining about it like make, being sad about it which is going to be which is going to make it worse i just realized that i did not say that right at all i don't mean like you can't be sad about having your back brace because obviously you can it's not a great thing it's not fun so you, you obviously can be sad or like mad or i don't know any emotion about it but I was trying to say in the clip that I was trying not to look in the negative side. Like I wasn't, I was trying not to think about the bad parts about getting that back race. And I was just really trying to be positive. And like, I was sad obviously, be sometimes because I was like, oh, this brace is really uncomfortable or it really hurts. And like, sometimes I was sad, but I was really trying to be altogether positive. So I decided to have a positive attitude about this whole thing because I thought that that was kind of the only way to, for me to like, really get through this without like a problem and 
not struggle too much. So during the period when I first got my braids, it was actually summer. I was able to wear my braids for 18 hours for most of the summer days. There was a couple of summer days where I had to like wear it for, I don't know, 16 hours or even less. I didn't do that that often because I didn't want to take my brace off for too long. But uh, honestly, summer was not that bad. I remember like being pretty surprised actually that it wasn't terrible. I was like a little bit hot in my brace, but it wasn't like a huge deal. So honestly, summer was like way, way better than I expected it to be. So that was really good. So yeah, so basically I wore that brace for a whole year up until now. I know that I said that I was going to wear the brace for two years, but actually a couple of months ago I got an x-ray and my doctor told me that I could uh, take a break from my brace for about two months. So basically during the whole summer to see how my back was doing without my brace to see if I could potentially take it off for good. And I did have that break for two months and I recently just found out that my back was doing pretty okay. It was still getting a little bit worse. So I'm basically going to be switching to a night brace so I'm basically just gonna be wearing that brace for six to around eight hours uh, a day which I don't really I don't know the exact hours but it's okay so I'm just wearing that uh, brace f during the night so that's kind of it for my whole story um, I haven't gotten my night brace yet so I'll kind of see how that goes yeah that's kind of it for my story uh, of my brace of scoliosis and of pectus carinatum uh, if you enjoyed this video and you want to watch more, feel free to subscribe and click the notification bell to get notified for my new videos. Yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!